Hello there. All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Gmon Five Nights at Freddy's review video. Yes, guys, that is right. It's time for yet another review video on the channel. So, uh, yeah. Please don't leave the video. Don't leave. Okay, listen, I know, I know, I know. I know, I've done a lot of review videos recently. It's not my fault that all the good juicy content's coming out in the workshop, okay? So, yes, we have another review video today, but I promise this will be the last one I do for a little while, unless, you know, something major comes out, which, you know, in my luck, probably will happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I promise, I promise, I promise, tomorrow I'll, I will upload a review video. I mean, wait, no, 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 I did not mean to say that, Frank. I promise tomorrow I will upload a roleplay video. Yes, I know you guys are dying for another roleplay video. I know it's been a little while since I did my last one. So, yes, guys, there's going to be a new roleplay video coming out tomorrow, as long as you leave a like and subscribe. Yes, I, I, I had to say it. Please don't hurt me. But anyways, guys, today we are back with another review video, and I think you guys are really going to like this add-on. Now, if you're wondering if this is going to be a really long video or anything like that, don't worry, guys. It's a really small ad. Oh, my God. There's so many characters. Oh, gosh. So, uh, yeah, this is the FNAF 1 through 4 accurate pack. So, this includes animatronics all the way from FNAF 1 to FNAF 4. Now, I know what you're probably going to say. I know what you're going to say. X-Man, X-Man, X-Man. I can't get this ad on. It's cringe. Look, there's missing purple textures. That's cringe. I'm not going to get this ad on. It sucks because there's missing textures. Boo hoo. Boo hoo 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 hoo. Well, stop right there, my child. Do not cry. Daddy is here, and I'm going to make it all better. So, yes, whenever you spawn these in, yes, the FNAF 1 versions, um, including Phantom Chica, have missing textures on the endoskeleton parts, but do not frown if this happens to you. And I know what you're probably going to say, oh, X-Men, X-Men, I know what you're going to say. You're just going to tell me to use the stupid sub material tool. I don't want to use that. That's stupid. It takes too much time. No, I'm not going to tell you to do that either. Listen, there's an easier fix, okay? And it's magical power. So, uh, to fix the endoskeleton textures, whenever you first start up your Gary's Mod world and you have these add-ons, you spawn them in, you're like, oh my god, he's got these ugly purple textures. There's an easy way to fix this so all you got to do is uh, press that nice little squiggly line beneath the escape key on your keyboard and when you press that boom it'll bring up the console of gary's mod wow look at the beautiful console this is magical and stuff and all you have to do is go right here to the little type thing the thing and type in matt specular or matt underscore specular space zero and uh what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that nice little enter button and then your game's probably gonna stop responding for a minute it's gonna load it's gonna load and it's gonna load but once it's done Boom, it is done, and now they have their textures. So, uh, yeah, that's all you have to do to fix their textures. So, I don't want to hear any complaints about the textures being missing because that's how you freaking fix it. Mm! All right, so anyways, guys, we are going to hop into this review now. And if you want to check out these characters for yourself, the add-on link will be in the description below. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and quickly walk by everyone so you can see what all types of characters are in this pack. But if you want to see what all these characters have um, each individually one by one, they a lot of the characters have a bunch of unique skins and stuff like that. Um, so make sure to watch the entire video if you want to see what all of these characters have, unique body groups and skins and stuff like that. There's a lot of cool random stuff in here. So um, it's definitely worth checking out staying towards the end um but uh yeah so if you want to check out these uh all of these characters in this pack uh the add-on link is in the description below and yes this is all in one add-on um so uh yeah it's all in one add-on um and then there's also a materials add-on for it too so if you get all that stuff you can have all these beautiful uh fnaf animatronics in your world all at once so uh, this is easy this is definitely like i would definitely say this is like the starter pack if you're like playing gary's mod for the first time and you want to get a fnaf you want to get a fnaf add-on but you don't know which one to get i definitely recommend in this one because this is all nice and neat it combines all the characters from fnaf 1 through 4 in one nice and neat little add-on so i highly recommend this uh add-on and also it is the most accurate fnaf pack so uh, these are the most accurate fnaf ragdolls on the gmod workshop currently i say currently because i know probably way in the future in a couple years we'll probably get even more accurate ones because you know that's how it goes nowadays also, I know there is going to be one more question that probably will be asked frequently in the comments, so I'll go ahead and answer it now. So, the question is, X-Men, are you going to be using some of these accurate FNAF ragdolls in your Gmod FNAF AU and replacing the older models that you have been using? And my answer to that question is, um, maybe. Um, I haven't really fully, fully decided. Um, there are definitely some models in this pack I do like. 
um, and some of them I feel a little iffy about using them in my AU and stuff. I definitely do want to use these uh, add-ons and stuff, definitely in like my shorts videos and stuff like that. If you don't know, I have a second YouTube channel called Xman7232, where I upload short Gmod FNAF and Poppy Playtime content on that channel. So if you want to see some bonus Xman723 footage and uploads, go check out Xman7232, my second channel. Also, I have other channels as well. They'll be linked in the description below too. So if you want to see more Xman723 content, they're definitely worth checking out, okay? Yeah. But anyways, as I was saying, with some of these characters, it's kind of like a maybe for me. Um, I'll, whenever I go through these characters one by one, I'll, I'll tell you guys if I do have ideas of maybe using them in my AU or probably not. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, I think that's everything. So, as long as you've left a like, I think we can go ahead and hop on in. Alright guys, so up first we have is the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear himself. Yes guys, that is right. The main character of Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy himself. He's in the title after all. He's the first character you see on the title screen. So uh, yeah, so I think it would have been completely wrong of me if I didn't show off Freddy first in this pack because you know, he's he's the leader of the group. He's he's the leader of all these animatronics here and uh, he's the main man. So uh, yeah, so up first we have is Accurate Freddy. So uh, yeah, um, I gotta say he looks beautiful. I gotta say I love how all these characters look. I'm probably gonna say that a lot throughout this video. I'm not gonna lie, um, but yeah, here's Freddy. So we got his nice little Indo Bindo textures on him. He does still have those um, nice arm rings and stuff like that because that's how the characters did have that in FNAF 1 whenever they're like performing on stage. You have these arm rings and stuff like that. That's how you have them. Um, you also got his nice little face and he's got his nice little shiny bow tie, his microphone, you know. Um, so one fun fact about all of these ragdolls in this pack is that their ears are have bones and they are movable with the physics gun um so you can make his ears flop around he's like i'm freddy fazbear floppity flop i got floppy ears um so uh, you can do that with all the ragdolls in this pack all the ragdolls in this pack have movable ears so uh that's definitely one great benefit of this pack so anyways um let's go ahead and go over his body group so uh let's go ahead and see so he does not have any skins because you know he's just freddy fazbear himself he's just vibing around and stuff um i have him in this nice little pose um but we can go ahead and just like on like freeze him and stuff like that to show that he is nice a nice little ragdoll um so he's like hey good hey there kids it's me freddy fazbear i'll be your friend forever besides once you wake once you go to sleep or uh, wait what how, how does that voice line go oh uh, once you wake up uh oh yeah once you wake up just remember friends are forever i have a very big brain as you can tell so anyways let's go over freddy fazbear's body group so as i mentioned earlier he does have the arm rings on his arms if you don't like those you can easily take them off by going down here and selecting rings boom it gets rid of those arm rings on his uh arms and stuff like that but freddy fazbear in fnaf 1 does have those arm rings so uh if you want to make it more accurate uh leave those on um but anyways we can go ahead and go over to his jaw so his jaw actually has a second texture which is the black jaw so this is where freddy has like a black mouth on the inside of his jaw um kind of gives off more of that shadow effect and i'm pretty sure freddy has this in some renders i don't know about if he has it in like fnaf 1 um but i do think there is like some merch renders or something of freddy with like this uh black mouth texture um so if you want to have him to have like that then boom you can it gives him a bit more of a creepy smile i don't know why given like freddy that like black line like or that black texture in his jaw makes him look a bit more creepy it's like ho, ho, ho. it makes his teeth pop out more he's like hey there kids it's me freddy fazbear i don't know why that makes him that makes such a difference i don't know why like that looks fine like that but then that just makes it like pop out it makes him look more creepy what in the world okay i did not think that was possible um so yeah you can change that with his jaw um anyways if we go on through here we can actually uh you can take out his eyes if you want so boom um so it switches his eyes out for these for the indo eyes you know like you see in like fnaf 1 especially in the fnaf 1 trailer whenever bonnie rips off his mask and he reveals that nice beautiful indo bindo of his and um, pretty much the rest of the body groups is taken off his suit. So uh, I can go ahead and show you guys what that looks like if you want. So uh, I guess let me go ahead and disable all this stuff. Oh my gosh, this is cursed. Oh my gosh. So this is pretty much Freddy's endoskeleton. We got some things to talk about. So first up, let's go ahead and focus up here. So as you can see, this is what Freddy's like endo ears look like and stuff like that. 
um so they're nice and bent that makes it look strange um but as you can see he also have a he has a little bar sticking out of the top of his endoskeleton head and it goes into his top hat and you're probably like whoa that's really weird why does freddy have that well in the silver eyes well actually i don't know if it was the silver eyes it's one of the novels uh, one of the main like novels from the trilogy of the Finance of Freddy's books uh, before Fazbear's Frights wherever it's like about Charlie um, being the daughter of Henry and all that fun stuff um, but anyways there's a, a section in one of the books where it talk where Charlie talks about or like Charlie has a flashback or something I don't really remember off the top of my head it's been forever since I read those books but anyways in there Charlie like um, sees her father Henry building the animatronics and stuff and she sees Freddy and she sees this metal pole sticking out of the top of his head and that's where his hat goes because it connects his hat to his head so that way his hat doesn't fall off his head so uh, that's why it's like that and also i guess you could say it's also kind of it's also kind of cool because it kind of connects it to like funtime freddy because if you guys don't know in sister location especially in the trailer you can see like funtime freddy's hat go up and down where like the endo skeleton head is connected to the hat so uh that's a funny fun fast fact right there um so uh yeah but anyways there's something else we have to talk about freddy's endo skeleton look at them toes oh my gosh this is um this is cursed. So this is Freddy's endoskeleton foot. This is how the foot needs to look like in order for it to be able to fit into the feet of the animatronic. So uh yeah, this is uh this is Freddy's toes. Oh, those do not look good. Bro, Freddy, you you got to you got to get your toes checked out, my guy. Oh my yo, he looks so freaking creepy. Holy frick. Um so yeah, this is uh Freddy's cursed toes. He only has he only has two toes because you know that's how the endos endoskeleton foot works. Um so yeah, there's uh Freddy's endoskeleton. I don't um I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. So anyways, that is pretty much it for Freddy Fazbear, but one last thing I will do is I will go ahead and compare Freddy Fazbear to the Team VR Freddy model, which is the, basically the model I have been using in my Gmod FNAF roleplays, which is this model right here of Freddy. So this is the model I've been using in my Gmod FNAF AU roleplays, um, and then here we have this beautiful, accurate Freddy. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and stand him up and uh, kind of compare him. So as you can see, the accurate Freddy is a bit bigger than regular Freddy. I know he's not fully standing up too. So uh, let's go ahead and prop him up. So uh, yeah, as you can see. Oh, and also uh, with this uh, with Team VR Freddy, his feet have like weird things and stuff. So it's it's weird. So I guess Team VR Freddy's kind of cheating because he's standing on his tippy toes, um, but his feet don't go like flat on the ground. Like that that's that's his, he he hovers. So that's the problem with the Team VR ragdolls is that they kind of hover off the ground a little bit. Um, but this is pretty much it. So as you can see, Accurate Freddy here is taller than Team VR Freddy and uh, definitely a bit bigger too. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys like in the comments below. Do you guys like Accurate Freddy, especially with his floppable ears and stuff like that? Or do you like Team VR Freddy, the model I have been using in my Gmod FNAF AU? And I also have one more question for you guys too. Guys, so this is something I haven't really decided yet and I am kind of considering. Should, from now on, should I start using these Accurate animatronics in my my gmod fnaf role place instead of the team vr ones um let me know in the comments below especially like with fnaf 1 and fnaf 2 um so i have not decided that yet um but let me know in the comments what you guys love and whatever it is i will stick to it so uh, i always like the team vr ones because you know they're a bit more cartoony and stuff like that um make it a bit make them a bit more bright and stuff but i do also love these accurate ones because well they're accurate to fnaf to like finance of freddy's but they do look a bit more creepier and stuff like that so i i don't know let me know in the comments which character which like versions of the models do you want me to uh to to use my au um i'll let you guys decide anyways moving along we now have bonnie the bunny yes we're only on our second character and this video is already over 10 minutes long we're gonna we're gonna be here for a while so sit down and strap in your seatbelt, okay um yeah we're we're in for a ride so anyways next up we have is bonnie the bunny now one thing you might notice about bonnie here is um his guitar you might be like whoa what the heck bro why does bonnie's guitar look like that it looks ugly bro that is cringe well a funny fun fast fact about bonnie from fnaf 1 is uh basically um the bonnie's old guitar from fnaf 1 his nice little triangle guitar yeah he um he got sued for that so uh, there was some copyright and stuff like that so Scott had to change the way Bonnie's guitar looks and stuff like that. Um, so if you guys look at Rockstar Bonnie, I think Rockstar Bonnie is a great example. Rockstar Bonnie used to have a triangle guitar, but then that got swapped out for a guitar that looks more like this, um, where it's more of a, I mean, it's like a solid triangle instead of a, uh, well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's still a triangle. It's like a 
it's like a slanted triangle kind of sorta um but it's like filled in and stuff like that so it's not like the triangle guitar over there with toy bonnie and we'll, we'll get on to toy bonnie when the time comes for him with his guitar um but uh, yeah this is what bonnie's guitar looks like because uh yeah um he got sued lol so anyways let's go ahead, ahead and have a look at bonnie so again here you can see bonnie himself um since we already looked over freddy we're going to kind of speed through the rest of these characters because i mean they pretty much have like the same form because they're the fnaf 1 characters and stuff like that um so we have bonnie right here again he's got his flexible ears just like freddy um so he can make his ears bend all the way and go like flop around he's like oh my gosh 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 i want to play my guitar i want to play my guitar a doop 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 so well yeah so here's bonnie um so anyways bonnie does have a skin so if you click skin one it makes his eyes solid black um um, yeah, I don't know why Freddy doesn't have that skin. I feel like that's something Freddy should have, but uh, he doesn't have it. So, uh, anyways, Bonnie has it, though. So, if you want Bonnie to have those black, solid eyes, well, now you can. Um, so, uh, yeah, there you go. So, anyways, um, pretty much you can take out all of his suit and stuff, too. You can also take away his guitar. But if you really do not like this new version of the guitar, you can give Bonnie back his OG guitar. Um, oh, I just clicked off my game. Um, you can give Bonnie his OG guitar. There we go. The triangle guitar is still here. So, uh, oh no, I'm gonna get sued again. So yeah, there you guys go. Um, so yeah, there's Bonnie. I think that's really cool. That includes both versions of the, the, of the guitar. You have the OG guitar and then the newer version of the guitar, or you could just take away his guitar too. I'm sad and lonely. And then just like Freddy, you can go ahead and take away all of his body groups and stuff like that. But I'm not going to since I already did that with Freddy. And yes, Bonnie has those cursed toes too yes um i'm scared those are gonna haunt me for the rest of my life and also here's team vr as a nice little comparison um so uh, here's a nice little comparison right here so again the team vr ones do like to define the laws of physics and fl and hover and stuff like that um but again as you can see he is a bit bigger i'll go ahead and change his skin back so we have those nice uh nice eyes right there so uh yeah so here's bonnie or well we have accurate bonnie and then team vr bonnie so uh yeah um, there you go. There's a nice little comparison. So uh, I'm gonna let you let you look on that. So uh, yeah Next up we have is Chica the Ch Do I have to do a review on Chica? All right, so next up we have is Foxy the Pirate Fox. So Foxy is the fan fit. Okay, fine, I'll review Chica. So yes, we have Chica. I love to give Chica a hard time. I know some people, I think some people are convinced that I just straight up hate Chica. I don't hate Chica. I love Chica a lot. I, I swear I'm not a simp. But just like Balloon Boy, I think it's just kind of fun to pick pick on her a little bit now and then. So uh, yeah, but no, Chica's a lovely character and I cannot see FNAF 1 without her. Um, so uh, yeah, so anyways, here is accurate Chica. So uh, again, just like Freddy and Bonnie, if you don't like those arm rings, you can easily take them off over here if you go into our thing the thing and our body groups. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a great uh, great uh, example. Uh, and, uh, I, uh, I think I just lost half of my brain cells right there. I have no idea what just happened. My brain just died. I... I need help. I think it's because I've done so many reviews now and I, I'm just going insane. I've done way too many review videos. But anyways, uh, without getting distracted and without losing my sanity, let's go ahead and look at Chica. So we have the endo hands. We have all this beautiful stuff. Again, you can take all this stuff off. You can even take away her beak. That is, um, that is cursed. Anyways, just like Bonnie, she does have a skin, so you can change your eyes to those black eyes. And then she also has another skin where she has um, the little rings around her eyes, too. Again, I don't know why. I feel like that's something Bonnie should have had because, you know, Bonnie showed those off in the uh, teaser trailer. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> but Chica has them. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could just strip the texture off of Chica and then just place it on Bonnie and stuff. And you can do the same with Freddy's eyes. If you want him to have those black eyes, you can just use the submaterial tool and blacken out his eyes and stuff like that. So there is easy fixes to all this stuff um so uh yeah but anyways here's chica and also we got a nice little cupcake here's little cupcake look at little cupcake he's a little cupcake and if you don't want him you can assassinate him and now he's gone also as you can kind of see there is some clipping going on around like the hands and feet with some of these rag dolls like as you can see right here you have like uh chica's hand her endoskeleton's kind of clipping through her her finger right there and over here with toy chica you can see it's kind of clipping on the side of her foot well do not worry because there is a fix to this um so if you don't want it to pop out on the sides what you can do is you can go into body groups and you can go down to where the heck is it right here uh, right at the very top okay you can get rid of the endo 
no hands so boom it doesn't look like that um but once you have oh wait no that just gets rid of the um the endo fingers right there so uh it has the base of the endo hand but basically it switches it to where it doesn't have the endo fingers and uh doesn't clip through the uh the character's fingers so uh boom that's how you uh that's how you fix that if you don't want those uh if you don't want that clipping going on so uh yeah oh no oh no oh no oh no so yeah you can take off all of her stuff on here unfortunately you can't take off her bib you have to take off her whole spine though together um but yeah there's a uh, there's <laughs> looks so stupid like that oh my gosh so uh, yeah um there's uh there's accurate chica um anyways here's team vr chica right here for a comparison right here um so again obviously slightly bigger slightly improved textures and stuff like that so um yeah I, the more i look at these accurate animatronics the more i'm realizing how kind of out of date these team vr ones are i love the team vr ones a lot um but uh like comparison like this this just has higher quality textures on them um while this one as you look closely at the texture and stuff you can see it's like kind of smoothed out while this one's a bit more you know dirty looking and more accurate feeling vibes to it big words go burr but anyways here's a comparison between accurate chica and team vr chica so what uh, there you go now we can finally move on to my main man foxy so here is foxy the fan favorite of five nights at freddy's well especially five nights at freddy's one um so uh, yeah here's foxy the pirate as you can see he's like yar i got me hook just like freddy and bonnie his ears are flexible and he's all yar 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 har har in a fiddly biddly do so yeah there's there's foxy's like yar i got me hook yar i'm ready for for war and stuff and he i got me hand yar boo ooga mix spook ups oh yeah there's one more thing i forgot so really quick with chica i just remembered this i'm so sorry um there is something slightly different to her and that is if you go down here you can give her her jump scare teeth to where it has her little teeth peeking through her bib because if you guys know in chica's jump scare she uh she has her teeth like kind of clipping in so uh yeah anyways back to foxy so here's beautiful foxy in all of his pirate glory um just like bonnie and chica you can change his eyes to where it's well it's solid black and then you can make it have this spooky glow effect right here too so uh, there you go you got that all that fun stuff and i think that's actually kind of it for foxy foxy doesn't have that much stuff you can take away his eye patch <laughs> he looks so weird without his eye patch i'm not gonna lie so you can take away his eye patch um, I'm pretty sure you can also take away his oh no you can't take away his hook or his hand because that's part of his endoskeleton and then you can kind of just take away everything else too oh you can't take away his hook never mind so you can steal his hook if you want to and then take away his mask and then be like lol you got l l l o l um yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it for foxy foxy doesn't really have anything unique to him but you guys can see foxy for himself so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on him because I mean that, that that's pretty much it and uh yeah and luckily foxy has normal toes unlike everyone else Oh yeah, wait a second, what does Chica's toes look like? Does Chica have normal toes? Oh my god, what is- What is that? Chica, what is wrong with your- Why do these characters have cursed toes? Oh my god, I thought her toes were gonna be normal. I thought, like, out of all these characters, I thought Chica would have normal toes. Oh my god, that is cursed. That is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. You know what, maybe this is a good thing Foxy doesn't have any, like, unique stuff to him, because that shows that he's, like, the only normal character in here. You know what, I think I understand, I think I finally understand why Foxy's the fan favorite, because he actually has normal toes, unlike everyone else. Like, what the heck? What, what are these? What, what are, um... What are all these toes, my guy? Like, wait, where's his foot? Huh? I, oh, I'm blind. Yeah, like, what are these toes? What are these toes? Foxy's got the normal toes here. That's that's why that's why Foxy's the fan favorite because he's got the best looking toes. Anyways, finally moving on to Golden Freddy. Yes, we have Golden Freddy. He's a separate character. He's not a skin of Freddy. He's his own unique character. So uh, yeah, here is Golden Freddy. Um, so again, pretty much he's just Freddy, but yellow. Um, you can also change his skin to where he's Shadow Freddy. So if you want to have your nice FNAF 1 looking Shadow Freddy, well, here he is. Isn't he a lovely boy? Anyways, with Golden Freddy's body groups, again, you can just take away pretty much everything, but pretty much all the stuff that is unique with him is that you can take away the glow in his eyes, so if you want his eyes to be just solid black, well, there you go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for Golden Freddy, I'm not gonna lie, and, uh, yes, he does also have those cursed toes! Why does everyone have those toes? Um, but yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty much it for Golden Freddy, but again, you know, got those big old floppy ears, like, oh, 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 oh. you can make him glitch out all over the place, he's like spazzing out, he's like, oh my god, I think he's dead. 
Oh yeah, also here's a comparison of Foxy and Golden Freddy to the Team VR versions. So right here we have Accurate Foxy and Team VR Foxy next to each other. And then we have Team VR Golden Freddy and Accurate Golden Freddy next to each other. So uh, yeah, there you guys go. Keep that in mind. Oh yeah, and also I guess this is a... Uh, then we also have Shadow Freddy too. So boom, there's a, there's Shadow Freddy comparison right there. So yeah, there you go. All right, so next up we have is the most important character from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I think it's kind of fitting that we have Shadow Freddy right next to him. Yes, guys, that is right. We have the Endo Bindo. Hello there. Oh, look at this beautiful Endo Bindo. Oh, he's so majestic. Oh, Endo Bindo. Oh, and he's got normal toes too. So yeah, here's the Endo Bindo. Now, he doesn't have any body groups or skins, unfortunately, but Endo Bindo is too cool to need any of those. Um, so yeah, here's Endo Bindo. Pretty nice, pretty simple. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for Endo. What? That, that's it yeah i'm sorry you know that that i mean i mean you're a cool character but you're a pretty simple one too uh, oh do i do i not have a beta skin or something like that you know like a, a beta endo skin or something like that no you um you don't oh shad endo bendo noises you know i'm kind of surprised with that with this accurate um endo skeleton that it actually doesn't have the beta endo head on it um because the team vr one does so uh, this is beta endo endo bendo of the team vr version but then we have regular endo bendo right here um, so, uh, yeah, there's a nice comparison between the accurate one and the team VR one. I gotta say, I actually really do like the accurate Indo Bindo here. Um, I love how the textures like make him pop out while this one's kind of like a solid black, but like with some shiny textures and stuff like that on it or with like some shine on it. But I gotta say, I really do like the accurate one and makes the character bring out, like pop out a bit more and feel a bit more realistic and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, the further I go into this review, the more I'm starting to like these accurate characters and stuff. Cause again, the, today's the first time I've actually like seen these characters placed down and stuff so that's why like especially at the beginning of this video i was like kind of iffy on maybe switching uh switching the characters i use in my au to these guys but now i'm i'm actually really considered doing in that so uh again let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below i do read the comments so again if you guys do think i should use these accurate versions in my role play especially a fnaf one you guys can say like oh i think you should use the fnaf one characters in your au but maybe not use the uh fnaf four ones for example you you can you can leave comments like that or you could say like like, oh, I like accurate Shadow Freddy, but I don't like accurate Foxy or something like that. So uh, just just say whatever you think is is um is whatever you feel is right, and um, I will do whatever the majority wants. So uh, yeah. Um, but anyways, there you guys go. There is the Indo Bindo. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, well, that's it for all the FNAF 1 characters. It's time to finally move on to FNAF 2 because this video is almost 30 minutes. Nope, we still have two more characters to review that are in FNAF 1. Bruh. Well, anyway, so, well, technically these characters aren't in FNAF 1, but this is, like, the only place I could kind of fit them into. Um, so this isn't really FNAF 1, but, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, we have Fredbear, and then we have Spring Bonnie. So, uh, yeah, I didn't want to put these guys over there with FNAF 4 because there's way too many characters over here. So I thought I would just squeeze them in right here at the end of the FNAF 1 section. So we have Fredbear. So uh, this is what Fredbear looks like. He made an appearance in Ultimate Custom Night, and, uh, this is, this is accurate Fredbear. Um, he's, uh... He's freaking creepy. I'm uh, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, yeah, here's accurate Fredbear. I'm sure he's got those cursed toes too. Let me go ahead and see those toes. Go ahead, show me the toes. Can I... you you can't take away his feet? You can't take away Fredbear, bruh. I want to see those. I want to see those Fredbear toes, bruh. Oh wait, are they? Oh no, he's got those cursed toes too. Okay, never mind. He's got the. He still has those cursed toes. Are you okay? Well, yep. Yeah, nope. Uh, Fredbear truly is evil. Bro, look at this dude. He's only got two Indo Bindo toes. No wonder why Fredbear's so mad. So, anyways, I mean, you've already seen this from the other characters. There really isn't anything to really go over with Fredbear besides, like, hey, here's Fredbear. He's got a slightly different head shape. His ears are smaller. He's got a purple hat and purple bow tie. Also, his eyebrows are a little smaller than normal. And uh, yeah, that's 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 kind of it for Fredbear. I mean, all the body groups you guys have already seen, especially like through with like Golden Freddy and Freddy and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, there's uh, there's Fredbear. I gotta say, I really do like this Fredbear version. And here we have a comparison again to from the accurate version to the Team VR version. So this is Team VR Fredbear. This is what he looks like. This is the Fredbear I've been using. I gotta say, I really do like this accurate Fredbear a bit more. You know, he it definitely looks like he's just ripped straight out of Ultimate Custom Night right here, and he's looking really freaking creepy. So that's the thing I've definitely take notice of from these accurate animatronics is that they look definitely a, a lot more creepier and stuff like that, and that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, there's uh, there's both Fredbear. So uh, there you go.
And finally, for the FNAF 1 section, we have his Spring Bonnie. Yes, I know he probably belongs in, like, the FNAF 3 section or something like that, but it's my video. I can do whatever I want. So, uh, yeah, so here we have Spring Bonnie, and also I decided to have him here because he's now right next to Fredbear. So, here is Spring Bonnie, and this is basically what Spring Trap would look like if he wasn't withered um, or, like, spring locked and all that fun stuff. And I gotta say... I absolutely love this spring body model. There isn't really that many spring body models out there that I absolutely love and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, I love the spring body model I use for spring bunny and stuff like that. But talking accurate wise, like Finance at Freddy's accurate wise, if like if spring body was in Finance Freddy's, if Scott Cawthon added him to FNAF, I really do feel like this is what he would look like. Um, so uh, yeah, here's uh, here's spring body. So one thing I am kind of noticing with this guy is the texture on his ears a little weird. Um, I don't know why it's like kind of like like sl um, slushed out like that. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but as you can see, like his ears, his inner ear texture is looking a little kind of strange. Um, but I'm sure that will probably get fixed and stuff like that. That's like the only thing. I mean, like yeah, you can also see on like the back of his pants too, bro. What are all these lines you got, man? Have you been like sitting down and stuff, start getting pins and needles or something, man? Like come on. So anyways, we have Spring Bonnie's. Like hey there, okay, to welcome the Fred Bear's Family Diner. My name is Spring Bonnie. I got a banjo. Do, 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 do. So yeah, here's Spring Bonnie. Um, and uh, for his skin, oh gosh. So yeah, if you change his skin, he actually turns into White Rabbit from FNAF World. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Um, I don't know anything else in FNAF that would have like a gray rabbit or something. I mean, if you do know, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm pretty sure this is like a reference to White Rabbit from FNAF World. Um, so, uh, yeah, there you guys, uh, there you go. There's, uh, there's this beautiful spooky, spooky boy for his skin. Um, I threw my crowbar at you. I am so sorry. And now I'm holding a gun at you. Please don't sue me. Anyways, let's go ahead and go through all of his body groups. So for here, we have his bow tie. So you can change his bow tie to the black version of the bow tie if you wanted to. So, uh, there you go. He's got a nice little black bow tie. Then you can just, uh, take it away too if you want. Um, you can also take away his ears and stuff like that. We'll go through all that in a second. I think pretty much it's the rest of this all just taking stuff off of him. Yeah, here, let's go and see what Spring Bonnie's endoskeleton looks like. Oh my gosh, what? That is cursed. That is the most cursed endo bendo I think I've ever seen. So yeah, this is what Spring Bonnie's endoskeleton looks like. This thing... That 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 head is definitely cursed. I do like the body on it. I do love how the endoskeleton body body of Spring Bonnie here looks. I love how it looks. It looks beautiful. That head though, that is just maybe it's just the eyelids or something, but that is just that's just creepy. I don't know why. That is freaking creepy. So well, yeah, there you guys go. There is Spring Bonnie. So yes, it is finally time. It is finally time to check out these the five Nights at Freddy's two animatronics oh my gosh this video is already over 30 minutes long holy frick that took way too long to go through all this FNAF one so I think I'm gonna try to speed it up start now um so uh, we're gonna go through the rest of these characters pretty freaking quick so uh yeah so anyways let's not waste any more time so here we have Toy Freddy um one main difference you can tell with him is that he actually has an endoskeleton inside of his head so you can see those nice endoskeleton teeth he's also holding his microphone too um so uh, yeah and also as you can see his endoskeleton is kind of clipping on his hand but if you don't want those you can take them off right there with the endo hand so boom there you go you don't have any clipping um so yeah you can also change toy freddy's skin here so you can go skin one it makes his like pupils glow up a little bit then you can go skin two it makes his whole eyes glow up and then skin three just makes them solid black so there you go you get the gist and then you can take off all of his stuff um so let's go and do that oh my god why are these endoskeletons so cursed especially on the heads that is that is freaky so this is toy freddy's endoskeleton i am um I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. At least he has normal looking toes. So uh, there you go. He's got normal toes. And uh, yeah, this is a, uh, this is Toy Freddy's endoskeleton. Um, it's not, uh, I mean, it's better than the FNAF 1 toes and stuff like that. So, I mean, hey, there you go. There's Toy Freddy. And again, just like Freddy, he's got that nice little rod for his hat, you know, connects the hat to the head. So that way his hat doesn't fall off. So uh, yeah, there you go. There's uh, there's Toy Freddy. Beautiful boy. I love Toy Freddy. Also, one thing that does kind of suck is, unfortunately, in this pack, it only goes from FNAF 1 to FNAF 4. So, unfortunately, we don't have a Mr. Hugs in this pack, unfortunately. We need another Mr. Hugs ragdoll or, like, model or something on the workshop, please. We don't have one anymore, and it's so sad. Any add-on creators watching this, please make a Mr. Hugs thing. I know we have the Fred version of Mr. Hugs, but I want a more official one. Please, please, please. I need, we need Mr. Hugs back. Okay, if I, uh, if I put this here and I put, oh. 
Wait, did I do it? <gasps> yes, I did it! I hacked this recent video! Let's freaking go! Oh my goodness, this is great! I'm so glad I freaking hacked it. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, wait, is it, oh, is it on right now? Um, oh, uh, uh, hello, it's me, Toy Freddy, um, from Toy Freddy Plays Games. Yes, guys, that is right, I, Toy Freddy, have my own YouTube channel, and, um, yeah, so anyways, I have my own YouTube channel, and I quickly hacked this video, I mean, I, uh, didn't hack this video, they definitely, uh, put this in on purpose or anything like that, uh, but anyways, uh, the reason why I've hacked it, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm doing this, uh, the, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is, listen, I need your help, okay, I don't have much time before my hack wears off, I mean, uh, before, uh, this message ends, um, yes, so anyways, I need your help, um, I have my own YouTube channel, it's called Toy Freddy Plays Games, on that channel, I, Toy Freddy Fazbear, I play video games and uh, i'm trying to grow my channel and the reason why i'm trying to grow my channel is well recently mr hooks he kind of blocked me and i'm really sad about it i'm trying to make him be my friend again and uh, oh gosh i really don't have time to do this message um i gotta speed this up but anyways i'm trying to get mr hooks to you know be my friend again and i can't reach him and i'm trying to grow my channel so that way hopefully one of my videos goes into his recommended page so it means a lot to me if, if you guys go over to my channel and subscribe and like my videos you know it's completely free all you have to do is like and subscribe it's completely free to toy freddy plays games please check out my channel i upload gaming videos on there and stuff like that so please 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 check it out it means so much to me oh my gosh i don't think i have much time and that's the reason why i think toy bonnie looks like a complete idiot so anyways guys let's finally check out toy bonnie's body group so uh yeah um anyways just like toy freddy he has the nice endoskeleton mouth inside of his head oh okay that's uh, oh gosh hello mr toy bonnie yo yeah he's got those creepy endo teeth and stuff like that oh hello there to please don't kiss me please don't make out with me toy bonnie maybe after the video so also just like all the other characters boom nice flexible body groups and stuff like i don't know if i talked about that with toy freddy but yeah he has flexible ears too um so again all these characters have flexible ears in this pack you should you should just know that at this point um but yeah here's toy bonnie as you can see he's got his nice shiny blue guitar um so with his guitar you can actually switch it to the second version of the guitar kind of like how bonnie had it um so toy bonnie also has this alternate version of the guitar so that way he doesn't get sued by the government and also just like toy freddy toy bonnie also has skin so you can make his pupils glow up you can make the entire eyes glow up in the dark or you could just have them be solid black. That is, um, that's not creepy at all. Oh yeah, also a funny fun fast fact that not too many people know about Toy Bonnie is that Toy Bonnie does have a tail. If you guys look at the Toy Bonnie, um, if you guys look at Toy Bonnie from FNAF 2, it is hard to see if Toy Bonnie does have a tail, but he does. If you look at the image of Toy Bonnie being in the vent, you can barely see Toy Bonnie's tail poking out behind him. So Toy Bonnie does have a tail, and yes, in this um in this pack it is actually movable too. So you can move Toy Bonnie's tail around. You can have him wag his tail. He's like, oh boy, oh boy, I'm a happy little bunny. Doop a doop a doop. I got my tail. And yes. Uh, uh, shadow shadow bonnie over here or r x q whatever his name is um yes he also has his, his movable tail so uh yeah um but anyways with toy bonnie you can basically take off all of his stuff very similar to toy freddy oh my gosh that is cursed so anyways you can take off his entire suit i'm not going to do that right now because uh this video is getting way too long so anyways right here we have his shadow bonnie he's a separate model in this pack um but basically uh, he's just toy bonnie but he's solid black and he has big gold glowy spooky eyes so i uh, i think you get the point right now so yeah there you go that's pretty much it for toy bonnie all right so next up we have is toy thick i mean thick i mean thick i mean thick i mean oh my god those are some thick thighs next up we have is toy chica so with Toy Chica, as you can see, she does look very hot. I mean, uh, looks very good. Um, she has her nice little bib, Let's Party, and on the back it is like separated, and there's also some Let's Party text on the back too, bruh. Oh yeah, this is also the back of Chica's bib if you wanted to see what it looks like. This is, uh, yeah, there you go, fun facts. So anyways, here's a Toy Chica, and like how I pointed out earlier with the feet and stuff, as you can see, like you can see like some uh, clipping and stuff on the side. If you wanted to, you can take away the, uh, oh wait, no, 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 you can't, but not with Toy Chica. Um, Never mind. But anyways, with Toy Chica, as you can see, she's got the nice, cute, and adorable little toy cupcake. So yeah, here's Toy Cupcake, but if you don't like Toy Cupcake, you can send Toy Cupcake to the Shadow Realm, where it'll never be seen ever again. So uh, yeah. So anyways, let's go ahead and just like Toy Bonnie Toy Freddy, she's got the same skins, make the pupils glow up, make that glow up, and then boom, solid black eyes. That is not creepy at all. Um, so anyways, with Toy Chica, as you guys know, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, she has her alternate form where she can take off her beak. So uh, let's go ahead and take off her beak. Um, so if you take off her beak and take off her jaw, she has, uh, she has that. That's what she looks like. Um, but you can actually change the mask of her so that way it, like, makes it more perfect for her missing beak and stuff like that. And then you can change your eyes to the, uh, Toy Chica spooky nighttime eyes. So, uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's not creepy at all. 
Oh my gosh, that is a skinny endoskeleton if I've ever seen one. Oh my gosh, like Toy Freddy's endoskeleton is like normal size, while Toy Chica's is just like thin. Holy frick. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's um that's pretty much it for Toy Chica. Next up we have is the Mangle. The Mangle has always been a great and cool character. I've always loved Mangle. She's always been amazing. So yeah, here is Mangle. So with Mangle, as you can see, she's got a nice little head, her little endo head. She's also got her nice little tail and just like Toy Bonnie, you can move it around too. She'll make her wag her tail like waga 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 waga. So uh, there, <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Here's, uh, here's Mangle. Um, so she also has skin and body group. So if you change her skin, it makes her turn into Shadow Mangle. Yeah, I told you there was uh, some weird and wacky characters in this. So yeah, you can turn Mangle into Shadow Mangle. I can't exactly remember off the top of my head where Shadow Mangle might be. I know in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 in the mini games, there was like the balloon, the like dead balloon boys or like shadowy balloon boys in the mini games and stuff like that. And I think there's also like some Shadow Mangles too. So I think that's where this originates from right here. Or it might be from somewhere else. I don't know. Let me know. But uh, yeah, this is Shadow Mangle. That's uh, that's not creepy at all. So you have her shadow skin, um, but you can also have her regular skin too, where she has all of her eyes lit up. You can also change her eyes and stuff like that. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there's some there's some missing texture right there. It's supposed to be a static eye. Um, yeah. Oh, and then you can also give her her other eye too. So if you want, you can like invert her eyes right there, um, or just uh, let her have both of her eyes right there. So she's like kind of fixed. And then uh, you can change everything else with all the other eyes too. Uh, you can also take away her bow tie right there. And uh, you can take away her hands and stuff like that to show off more of that nice endo bendo inside. Eyelids low. Toggle. What? Oh, that's like her bottom eyelids right there. So uh, Mangle normally doesn't have her bottom eyelids in FNAF 2. Um, but if you wanted to have them, well, now you can. So uh, there you go. There's Mangle's lower eyelids. You can also take off her mask. That's, uh, that's not spooky at all. And... Um, there you go. You can also take off her foot. And yes, Mangle does not have any cursed toes. So uh, there we go. So I'm pretty sure I can say Mangle is X-Man approved. So yeah, there is Mangle. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get on to Balloon Boy. Why is this video like 40 minutes long now? Oh my freaking gosh. So anyways, next up we have is Balloon Boy. Everyone's favorite character right here. Please don't skip this part of the video. Please, Balloon Boy needs some attention. Uh, so yeah, here's Balloon Boy. Um, I'm kind of scared to see what his endoskeleton looks like. But yeah, here's Balloon Boy. You all know what Balloon Boy looks like. He's a nice little boy. He's like, hey. okay, I don't know why I said nice. He's kind of, he's kind of, he's secretly evil. Um, um, so yeah, here's Balloon Boy. If you go up to him, you can take off his... Oh my, that is cursed. The, oh, what in the world is that endos? That's how his eyes are... What the... That is, that is cursed. That is... So, that's the most cursed endoskeleton I've ever seen. Because as you know, you can see like inside Balloon Boy's head, he does not have any endo teeth. Oh my gosh. So you can take away his hat too. That's his endoskeleton head right there. That is cursed. Oh my gosh. This is Balloon Boy's endoskeleton. So you can take away his balloon and his sign. Um, you can also take away his hands. What is this endo... What is this cursed endoskeleton? Oh my gosh. This is Balloon Boy's endoskeleton. That is probably one of the most cursed things I think I've ever seen. I mean, at least he's got normal toes, but... Something's just unsettling about this. So this is Balloon Boy's endoskeleton. This thing is... This is cursed. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is probably what Balloon Boy's endoskeleton would look like. But I mean, like, man, why are these endos why do endoskeletons have to look so cursed? At least the regular endoskeleton looks nice and normal and stuff. But all these other endoskeletons are so freaking cursed. What is this thing? I'm scared. Anyways, with Balloon Boy, he has the same eye skins as everyone else. So you can make the pupils glow up, the whole eyes, and then just make it solid black. That is freaking creepy. That is, that is creepy. Um, let's go ahead and go on to the next character. Next up we have is JJ. So pretty much just Balloon Boy, but kind of like reskinned, um, and doesn't have the balloon or sign. Um, but you can actually give her a balloon and sign if you want. So, uh, there you go. It's pretty much just balloons too. And she has her nice pink balloon. So, there you go. She has the same eye textures too. And also pretty much the same body groups as Balloon Boy. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go through these kind of quick. Because again, this video is getting really long. So, yeah. There's JJ. Anyways, next up we have is the puppet. And yes, the puppet does have noodle limbs in this. We got all those noodle limbs. Like, noodle limbs, noodle limbs. I got my noodle limbs. Look at me. I'm noodle limbs. Noodle, noodle, noodle limbs. Noodle limbs, noodle limbs. Oh my gosh, my arms are just... Oh my gosh, bro. Puppet's arms are just freaking broken, yo. Oh my gosh, these arms are just wacky, bro. So, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, 
this is puppets uh this is the puppet or the marionette so uh there you go oh my gosh these are some wiggly limbs so yeah here is the puppet from five nights at freddy's 2 so just like all the other characters puppet does have body groups so if you go into the body groups you can change the mask to mask 2 and this is basically representing the puppet from back in the day before the puppet was possessed um, so it gets rid of the lipstick and all that stuff or if you want you could get rid of the mask Oh my gosh, that is cursed. Uh, we're gonna leave it like that And also I think the old uh, puppet did not have any uh, cheeks um, And then you can also take away the buttons too and also you can get rid of the eyes if you want as well Or you can change the skin to make it even look even older and stuff So this is what the puppet originally looked like in Fred Bear's Family Diner before the puppet got got um, possessed. As you can see, it has green eyes because, you know, it's like scanning. Gotta find that green little bracelet. And then Charlie freaking dies. And then she's like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm going to hug her. And then I'm going to become the puppet. So, yeah, there is the puppet. Why is this version of the puppet scary, bro? This is, why is this creepy, man? Why, why did Henry think this was a good design as a security system? This looks like something you would want to keep your kids away from, not near. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, it is finally time for the withered animatronic. Oh my gosh, we're on row three and this video is 45 minutes long. Please help me, Freddy Fazbear. So luckily with these withered animatronics, they don't have any skin. So all the characters in this row don't have any skins. Um, so that will make this go by a lot more quicker, but they do have body groups. So here's withered Freddy Fazbear right here. He's like reaching out. He's like, hey there, it's me, withered Freddy Fazbear. Please help me. I'm in crippling depression. So anyways, with Withered Freddy, you can go ahead and just take off all of his stuff. So I'll go ahead and just do that really quick. And uh, yeah, that is uh, cursed, just as I expected. So uh, here's Withered Freddy. This is what his head looks like. Um, I'm, um, I'm scared. So just like regular Freddy and Toy Freddy, he does have the nice little rod for his hat. Um, sticking out and stuff but as you can see it's kind of bent and crooked because you know withered freddy's hat is kind of tilted and stuff like that so it's from old age you know it's kind of kind of falling apart a little bit but uh yeah this is withered freddy's oh my gosh bro what is wrong with your toes oh my gosh why do these characters have cursed toes i thought you were a normal endo bendo but no you have cursed toes too <gasps> what are those toes bro what are those toes those are some chubby looking toes my guy oh my gosh this should just be a fnaf toe review at this point man what are wrong with these guys with with their toes man um but anyways here's withered freddy you know he's just chilling he's like oh yeah, i'm freddy fazbear so well, yeah there's um there's withered freddy i'm scared Next up we have is Withered Bonnie. I gotta say, I've always loved Withered Bonnie. He's always been one of my favorite Withered animatronics. Um, just like FNAF 1 Bonnie, you know, got those big old floppy ears and stuff. Also, his arm is flexible too with the wires and stuff like that. I love that a lot too, because again, it makes it feel more realistic and more accurate and stuff like that. Um, that's the thing I love about these, uh, about this ragdoll pack is it makes it feel like all these animatronics are like realistic and stuff. Like if this is what FNAF was like in real life, they would definitely look like these guys. So uh, yeah, anyways, we got Withered Bonnie, you know, he's moving around. He's got his hand he's like what where'd my face go oh no oh no where'd my face go so uh oh look it's me withered bonnie so yeah here is withered bonnie um you can also take off his foot right there so boom he does actually have normal endo toes so uh that is that is a very beautiful sight to see um so uh yeah there you go here's here's withered bonnie I gotta speed through these. I gotta speed through these guys. This video is getting way too long. But yeah, there's Withered Bonnie. You get the main point. That's pretty much the main unique stuff to him is that it, basically his arm wires is uh, is interactable. So there you go. Withered Bonnie. He's a beautiful boy. I love Withered Bonnie. Next up we have is Withered Chica. Just like Withered Bonnie, her arms right here with the her arm wires are also flexible too. So there you go. And also you don't have to have her arms like posed up like that. I just like having her like that because you know that's how she was like in FNAF 2. Um, but you can have her arms like down to her sides like that. And she's like baka 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 sussy sussy baka. So yeah. Oh my gosh. I do not want to see. Oh my gosh. I know Withered Chica's endoskeleton is going to be cursed. Um, so yeah. Here's Withered Chica. This is what she looks like. I got to say I love, I love how all these characters look. I actually... I, I really do love the look on the withered animatronics the most. I think these are probably my favorite in this pack is the withered animatronics. Um, I gotta say these withered animatronics look perfect in my eyes. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, anyways, with withered Chica, I guess let's go ahead and see. Um, let's take off her mask at least. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Chica, what? <laughs> Chica, what? <laughs> oh no 
Oh my gosh, this is cursed, bro. Why is Chica's endoskeleton so freaking cursed? Oh my gosh, that is Chica's endo head. That oh, what the frick, bro? From the side, that it, bro. Why she got that? I didn't even see that, bro. She's freaking Pinocchio, bro. Why she's got that long freaking nose? I'm pretty sure that's like where her beak is supposed to be and stuff. You have her beak and stuff. Yeah, I can see that's where her nostrils are and stuff like that. That is, I mean, yeah, I mean that makes sense because it attaches the beak to her the endoskeleton. But that looks so weird. <laughs> that looks so freaking cursed my god oh my gosh but yeah there's chica and uh, let's just see does she have normal toes please just say she does oh <gasps> she does she has normal toes let's go i mean they're kind of uh bonnies are normal they're hers are a little or are, are slightly squished if you look at it from a certain angle but i will say she has normal toes so congratulations Ch uh wither chica you actually have normal toes so uh, yeah there's wither chica she looks like pinocchio <laughs> Next up we have is Withered Foxy, nice beautiful pirate boys like yar har har and a fiddle dee biddle dee doo. Yar, I be the best pirate across all the seven seas. Yar har har. R, yar, me matey, R, I be Withered Foxy, yar, me voice needs to be slightly off too. Yar, you know, make me feel unique. Yar har har har. Anyways, let's go over Foxy's body or Withered Foxy's body groups right here. So Withered Foxy, basically, again, you can just take off pretty much everything. So, uh, yeah, that's what his endoskeleton looks like. Oh, I just realized something. So for default, Foxy's like eye underneath his eye patch is like rolled up into his head. Um, oh my gosh. So it's still there. So if you want his eye coming back down, you can just use the advanced bone tool. Um, but yeah, there is a withered Foxy's endoskeleton. I'm, um, I'm scared. Next up we have is Withered Golden Freddy and oh my gosh I'm kind of scared to check out this guy so uh yeah so here's Withered Golden Freddy look at this beautiful boy I gotta say I love how he looks he looks beautiful and yes if you are wondering yes you can give Withered Golden Freddy his eye glow so you can go down here give him eye glow so boom there you go it's a happy Withered Golden Freddy's like oh hello there it's me Withered Golden Freddy oh so yeah here's Withered Golden Freddy oh he likes to he likes to do that whenever you freeze up all of his limbs so let's go and unfreeze him a little bit so there there we go he's all nice and cozy so yeah here's withered golden freddy nice and cozy um so uh yeah so with withered golden freddy he actually doesn't have an endo head well technically he does for this model but in normally normally in finance freddy's 2 you can't see golden freddy's endoskeleton head um but with this you can so uh let's go ahead and let's see can we take off his nice little mask yeah we can take off his head oh my gosh yeah so this is golden freddy's endoskeleton head this is cursed. I'm, um, I'm kind of scared. Also, why is there just, I don't know why, there's just, like, a white line right there. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, Withered Golden Freddy's, uh, this is his head. Um, at least you can move around the ear and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm scared. So, if you really want to get rid of this weird endoskeleton head, which I'm, I, I, I like the endoskeleton head. I think it's completely fine. It shows, like, how the animatronic, like, kind of connects up together and stuff like that. Um, that's what I've really liked with all these like unique endoskeletons and stuff like stuff you normally wouldn't see like the um, hat rod right there and also like the Chica's nose and stuff like that like how it shows that it, how uh, it connects Chica's beak to her head um, so I like that a lot but if you want to get rid of it you can just go down here and uh, get rid of the endo head and boom it's a nice spooky golden Freddy boy so uh, let's go ahead and give him his head back Boo! it's a golden boy Next up, we have his Withered Shadow Freddy. So he is very similar to Withered Golden Freddy, but there are a few things that are different about him. So as you can see, he's basically the same Withered as Golden Freddy, except basically he has a purple texture on him. Um, but a fun fact about Withered Shadow Freddy is that he actually has some different wiring textures compared to Golden Freddy. So if you look right here on Golden Freddy's face, you can see he's got like white wires, blue wires, and red wires coming out of the eyes. But if you come over here and compare it, he has a blue wire and then black wires. So uh, yeah, Shadow Freddy's got a bit more blue and black wires, and then and also some yellow wires thrown in too um so he's got some unique wiring on it on in on him so uh there you go um but i'm assuming yeah just like a uh, golden freddy he's got this cursed endoskeleton head right here um we don't really talk about that and um if you want you can also uh get rid of his beautiful 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 eye glow wait can you i don't know i just said that before i looked i probably should have looked i um i don't think you can Oh, wait, yeah, you can. Okay, there you go. So you can get rid of his eye glow right there. Um, so if you want him to not have eye glow, boom, you can take that away. But uh, you can give that back. And uh, yeah, there you go. There is Withered Shadow Freddy again, very similar to Withered Golden Freddy. So uh, yeah, there you go. 
Anyways, for our final Five Nights at Freddy's 2 character, oh my gosh, we still have FNAF 3 and FNAF 4 to check out in this video. It's over 50 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, next up we have is the endoskeleton from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Luckily, this guy does not have any body groups, um, but I gotta say, Endo 2 is definitely one of the most creepiest endoskeletons I think I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie, um, especially like out of the main four games. Uh, Endo 2, in my opinion, is definitely way creepier than Endo 1. Endo 1's like nice and friendly. It's like, hey, it's me, the Endo Bindo. Then Endo 2's like, I'm gonna eat the beans. All right, guys. So we are now finally checking out Five Nights at Freddy's 3 in this pack. And luckily, this section should go by pretty quick because most of these guys are reskins because they're all the phantoms and stuff like that. So pretty much the only new unique character we have in this pack is Springtrap. And I gotta say, I love how he looks. I love how Springtrap looks in this pack. Um, but yeah, we have the phantom animatronics, which again are pretty much just retextured of FNAF 1 and FNAF 2 animatronics. So uh, this should go by pretty quick. So first up we have is Phantom Freddy. Um, I'm not going to take off his body groups because again, we've already pretty much seen him with like Wither freddy's endoskeleton right there um but one thing about uh phantom freddy you should know about is yes he is missing his leg in this pack so boom he doesn't have a leg also something unique with phantom freddy unlike withered golden freddy because you know like phantom freddy has like golden freddy's withering on him and stuff but the main difference between withered golden freddy's withering and phantom freddy's withering is that he actually has some eye wiring coming out of his opposite eye because that's how he has it in ultimate custom night he has some eye wires coming out right here um whereas withered golden freddy does not so it makes him slightly different too um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the main differences with Phantom Freddy, um, from Withered Freddy and, uh, Withered Golden Freddy. Um, so, uh, yeah, there you go. There's all that stuff. You can change his skin and, uh, you have this alternate texture for him, which ma makes it a bit more of a Phantom Golden Freddy skin right here. So, uh, there you go. And yes, just like Withered, uh, Golden Freddy and Withered Shadow Freddy, he does have this cursed, um, yeah, uh, head. I'm scared. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Phantom Freddy. So uh, there you go. You got a nice, beautiful Phantom Boy. So anyways, next up we have is Springtrap, the main character from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I gotta say, this is definitely the best Springtrap ragdoll I have ever seen on all of Gary's mod. I've reviewed so many freaking Springtrap models. Like, I, I don't think it's even possible to count how many I've reviewed. I've reviewed way too many Springtrap models, but I think I can easily say that this is my favorite Springtrap ragdoll I have ever seen on all of Gary's mod, and I definitely want to start using this in my AU. Um, so this is definitely one character I definitely am going to start using in place of my other character. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start using this Springtrap model definitely. This is my favorite Springtrap model I've ever seen on Gmod. So uh, yeah, here is Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So uh, yeah, he's doing his nice little iconic pose, and yes, his ears do wiggle around. He's like, oh, I always come back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so here, I'll go ahead and unfreeze him, too. So, uh, here's Springtrap. He's like, oh, I always come back. Ha, 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 ha. You thought you could escape me? No, not on my watch, because I always come back. So, watch out for your back. Um, so, uh, yeah, so here is Springtrap, the nice, beautiful, beautiful boy. Um, as you can see, he's missing that nice little finger right there. He's like, oh, my little finger. Oh, no. So, uh, yeah. So, here is Springtrap. Oh, my gosh. Springtrap is one of my favorite characters in all Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, so, let's go ahead and let's look at his skin. So, if you change his skin, boop, it kind of alternates the texture just slightly. Um, so, if you don't like how the look of this texture looks, um, you can make it look more like this. So, it kind of just, like, flips the texture in around on him. Um, so, uh, there you go. I think it, I think it, like, zooms out the texture. And I don't know. It makes it it kind of just moves the texture around a little bit so uh there you go so there's two different versions of the textures and stuff like that so uh there you go i kind of like the first texture better personally but anyways i think it's time to check out his body group so you can take so you can toggle his eyes this makes it so his eyes can glow in the dark um you can also take off his endoskeleton and stuff like that let's see can you get rid of his flesh by chance uh, you can take away his eye case and oh gosh, he's like, oh no, I forgot I left the oven on in Fazbear's Fright. Oh no, I hope it doesn't burn to the ground. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure, oh gosh, there's that purple purple face. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, we have to see, we have to see Springtrap's endoskeleton. Yep, cursed as, um, as I expected. So yeah, this is Spring Traps Endoskeleton. Oh my gosh, look at this purple-murple guy trapped inside. He's like, I always come back. 
Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is uh this is Springtrap's endoskeleton. Um, it is quite terrifying. So yeah, and this video is now almost an hour long. Yo, guys, if you guys have not liked and subscribed, if you haven't liked this video yet, at least, what are you doing, bro? I've been I've been here for so long. This video is taking so freaking long to make, and it's like an hour long, and I'm not even on the FNAF 4 section. So if you've if you've not left a like yet, please, please do. This is taking me forever. And also, if you're still watching this entire video, thank you, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Um, so uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is taking a lot longer. Than than I thought it would so uh, yeah so make sure to leave a like um, that would mean so much it's completely free please do it I've been here forever please help next up we have is phantom chica so she's the only phantom in finances Freddy's 3 that has the FNAF 1 appearance um, and she also has a shadow cupcake which does not have the plate because um, in finances Freddy's 3 there's shadow cupcakes uh, scattered around the location but luckily with this phantom chica we can see shadow cupcake right here but if you don't want her to hold uh, shadow cupcake you can easily just kill him um, so uh, yeah there you go and uh, just like um, re regular chica you can take off all of her body and stuff like that but i'm not going to because this video is way too long so that's pretty much it for phantom chica um yeah watermelon go burr next up we have is phantom foxy again pretty much just like withered foxy but retextures have phantom textures and also mainly the main noticeable difference about phantom foxy from withered foxy is he's missing his hook and his lower arm where his hook would be um so yeah that's the main that's basically the main differences with withered foxy from withered fo f wait from with f f f too many f oh my gosh there's too many characters in, fin in fnaf bro this is the main difference from phantom foxy wait this is the main difference from withered foxy to phantom foxy or backwards i don't know my brain hurts guys it's like 1 a.m my brain hurts i want to go to sleep but yeah you can get rid of all of his body groups too so there you go um next character phantom balloon boy we, we, it's basically balloon boy but retextured um that is that is still cursed and also you can change his skin to make his uh his eyes slightly smaller and also to make his skin slightly darker too um so uh yeah there yeah uh, there you go there's uh there's phantom balloon boy uh you're just cursed and spooky anyways here's phantom mangle um basically the exact same as mangle but with phantom textures you can change your skin to where she has that shadow textures and stuff on her as, as well and um yeah that's uh that 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 that's uh that's pretty much it next up we have is phantom puppet and just like the regular puppet you can take off some of the stuff on it so boop 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 you can take off all this beautiful stuff i threw my crowbar at it because i am tired and uh, that's it for phantom puppet next up we have is corner freddy basically this is just shadow freddy but without his eyes and also without the uh, glow on his teeth that is uh that that's pretty much it yeah he, he's here too and that is it for Finance of Freddy's 3. See, I told you guys that section would be quick. So, uh, yeah, there you go. But again, I know I'm going through these models kind of quick, but mainly because we've already seen these FNAF 2 models and FNAF 1 Chica already before. So, kind of just sped through it. Mainly, the main differences are that they have phantom textures, and that's pretty much it. But we also have beautiful Springtrap right here. Springtrap, my beloved. He's beautiful. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That's pretty much it for FNAF 3. But I will say I do love FNAF 3. FNAF 3 is one of my favorite FNAF games, okay? I love FNAF 3 a lot. So, uh, yeah. Um, there you guys go. Now we are moving, we are now moving on to the final section in this video, the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 section. So, uh, I think this section might have them, I think FNAF 2 has the most characters because you have the toys in, um, in the Withered. So, this is the section that has like the second most amount of characters in it. So, uh, let's go ahead and start off with our boy, Nightmare Freddy. So, yeah, here's Nightmare Freddy, the first Nightmare animatronic we ever got to see. And we got Freddy, Nightmare Freddy's little children. We have all different versions of the Freddle. So, there's three different versions of the Freddle. You got Freddle 1, Freddle 2, and Freddle 3 right here. And uh, look at these little boys. They're like, Haha, I'm a little toddler. Haha. And yes, their ears are also flexible too, because, you know, we got to have those beautiful, beautiful, movable ears and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, here's um, here's Nightmare Freddy's. Like, oh, I'm Nightmare Freddy. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, with this skin, oh my gosh, he's got a lot of skin. So if you go to skin one, it basically gets rid of the glow in his eye. Skin two makes his uh, pupil solid black. Skin three um, adds them back. Skin four does, it, it, it hurts my brain. So I'm pretty sure the difference between skin one and skin three is that it changes the texture slightly. Um, so if you want to do that, I mean, I guess you can. It's not really that noticeable of a difference. Um, so uh, there, you, uh, there, there you go. Um, but anyways, we do have Nightmare Freddy's endoskeleton. So uh, we do have to take a little look at this. Oh, dang, his endoskeleton is actually surprisingly not really cursed at all. It basically looks just like the Nightmare endoskeleton, um, except he's got Freddy's ears in his hat. So uh, there you go. Dang, dang, oh, dang. Wow. It, 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 the first normal endoskeleton, the first animatronic to actually have a normal endoskeleton inside of them. Wow. And it's a nightmare one. So it's that, that's concerning. 
Also, if you are curious, yes, the Freddles do have different skins and all their textures and stuff. I'm just gonna focus on one Freddle, so uh, I'll take I'll take this one right here, right in the center. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and go over his stuff really quick. So he has different skins. Basically, these skins just slightly change the textures on him to make him slightly darker, um, or just completely change it to a different version of the Freddle. Um, so uh, yeah, so you have these different Freddle textures um, right here. Um, and if you want, you can go ahead and take off his scale is his suit too. I guess we got to see what it looks like for the Freddles. Yep. That is uh that is cursed. Oh my gosh. Look at his head. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is the Freddles endoskeleton. That is creepy. Oh my gosh. Look at his head. He's got like a little, he's got like a little nose right there. Kind of sort of, it's really hard to see cause it's like solid black. Um, but his head looks like a skull. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean like, especially like, I mean, I guess the, uh, I mean, I guess that makes sense because, you know, these FNAF 4 endoskeletons do look like human-like and stuff. Because, like, look, they got, like, noses where, like, your nose would be, like, what the heck? Yeah, the FNAF 4 endoskeletons are definitely really creepy. But if you want to see what a Freddle endoskeleton is, well, now you can. He looks he looks like a gremlin. Oh, my gosh, bro. Look at this. Look at this boy. Yeah, so uh, that's what a Freddle's endoskeleton looks like. I'm never going to be able to look at them ever again the same. Oh, yeah, also, they have cursed toes, too. Look, they only have they only have two toes on each foot. Um, So uh, this, is, uh, this is what his little foot looks like. I am a... Uh, that's a that's a cursed foot and uh, also with his hands yeah this is a uh, his little indo hands um they're 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 not as cursed as his toes so yeah there's 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 his fingers anyways moving on we have nightmare bonnie so a fun fact about nightmare bonnie is if you go up to him and you look at his eye you're like oh my god look at his eye his eyes like sit off and stuff like that yeah that's uh that's how nightmare bonnie is in fnaf 4 if you look at nightmare bonnie from fnaf 4 his eye right here is like slightly off because i don't know scott thought that was good or something i mean maybe it's supposed to give off like a bit of a withering effect to nightmare bonnie it's like oh no his eye got kind of pushed back in or something like that i i don't know if that's on purpose or not i mean i i guess it is on purpose because i mean if scott would have had like endoskeleton stuff on the inside and stuff like that so i mean i guess that's on purpose but i don't know it's always it's always looked a little strange to me but yeah there we go there's a there's nightmare bonnie um so anyways i'm assuming he has the same endoskeleton as nightmare freddy so i'm not going to take off his suit um but oh there's oh eyelid 2 model so uh yeah so if you want to fix his eye right there and make it look normal you can you just gotta you know pop it pop this out right there just click on that so boom you can fix his eye right there if you want it to be normal or you can actually have it accurate because this is how scott has nightmare bonnie's eye in fnaf 4 so this is what nightmare bonnie looks like in fnaf 4 but if you want it to be nice and fixed uh then uh, then you can so yeah and with Nightmare Bonnie's skin basically the same as Nightmare Freddy, if you go to skin one, it makes the eye glow go away in the eye so their eyes won't glow up in the dark. And if you go to skin two, it makes them, it makes them look dead. I'm scared. And just like everyone else, you know, Nightmare Bonnie's got those wiggly ears and he's got three ear pieces and they all wiggle around. He's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got my wiggly ears, wiggly, wiggly ears. So yeah, there you guys go. There is Nightmare Bonnie. And he also comes with Jacko Bonnie. So yeah, here's Jacko Bonnie um, from Finance Freddy's 4. A fun fact about Jacko Bonnie here is a uh, fun fact uh, for some reason on his hand, I don't know why Scott does, had this like this, but uh, he has like Nightmare Bonnie's regular finger and then also part of it right here. I don't know if like Scott messed up the texture on him or if that's on purpose. I don't think it's on purpose. I think it's an error, but like, I, I it's just, it, it's there. Okay, it's it's there. So he's got Nightmare Bonnie's fingers. And um, yeah, so uh, here, there you go. There's Jacko Bonnie. Um, I gotta say Jacko Bonnie does look very cool. But again, basically he's just like Nightmare Bonnie, except he's missing his nose, his, uh, his, his eyeballs, and he's a bit glowy and he's basically an orange boy. So uh, yeah, there's Jacko Bonnie. I don't think he has anything noticeable. I don't really know what the skin want. Oh yeah, so if you wanna get rid of that and make him have just a nice normal orange hand you can change his skin to skin one um but this is what he looks like in fnaf 4 believe it or not um I, why is nightmare Bo why is nightmare bonnie in fnaf 4 getting like so screwed over he's got like this weird looking eye and then jacko bonnie's got this weird looking hand like bro what, what the heck bro um so uh, yeah but this is uh this right here is what jacko bonnie looks like in fnaf 4 um and if you want you can do endo body removal so that gets rid of the endo like body right there inside of his um stomach if you can't tell, I'm really freaking tired right now. Um, but you can also get rid of his mask. So, it, oh, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, I'm scared. 
All right, I think it's about time we go ahead and move on over to Nightmare Chica. So here's Nightmare Chica. Um, so Nightmare Chica, she comes spawned in with her nice little Nightmare Cupcake. And also the feathers on top of her head are interactable. So uh, you can move her feathers around if you want. You can be like, hey, feathers go burr. So yeah, I'm Nightmare Chica. I love leg stew. Leg stew, leg stew. I'm gonna give me some leg stew. So yeah, here's Nightmare Chica. Again, just like Freddy and Nightmare Bonnie, you have the same skins, like make it faded and then make it black. Um, so there you go. Uh, with uh, Okay, so yeah, a fun fact with Nightmare Chica is that she has like a ton of freaking endo jaws. So yeah, she has like three rows of endo jaws, but you can actually go ahead and take this out, which that takes away the one on the top, I think. Or no, it adds uh, it adds another endo jaw inside. So uh, oh well, it takes away it takes away that one right there. So uh, yeah, so if you don't want her to have multiple jaws, you can take that out. But uh, that's what she normally looks like. She has like a ton of freaking rows of teeth. Nightmare Chica is going to eat a child. That's uh, that's basically the lesson here. But ooh, you can actually take off her bib. That's cursed. Also, if you want for some reason, you can also get rid of her little hair pieces too. And, um, and also you can get rid of the cupcake too. So you can get rid of his jaw. You can get rid of the endo inside of the cupcake and you can get rid of his head. And I'm assuming you can also get rid of the plate. Yeah, you can. So, uh, boom, you can get rid of Nightmare Cupcake if you want to. So, uh, yeah. And also, Nightmare Cupcake does come as a separate ragdoll, too, in this pack as well. So, if you just want Nightmare Cupcake to run around, you can. And he goes rah, 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 rah. His jaw is interactable. So, you could be like, be like, hey, it's me, the Nightmare Cupcake. Rawr. I am scary. So, uh, yeah. And uh, you basically, again, you can just take away his face. Anyways, we also have Jacko Chica to look at too. Basically, it's just an orange version of Nightmare Chica, but again, she's got the nice glowy glowy inside of her. And she also comes with the beautiful Mr. Pumpkin. Um, so with the pumpkin, again, you can just basically just get rid of the pumpkin if you want to. If you don't want her to hold the pumpkin, you go down, where where is it? Right here, boom. And just like Nightmare Cupcake, the Jack-O-Lantern comes as a separate, um, separate ragdoll right here. And also the mouth is interactable too, which like, hey, it's me, the pumpkin. Rawr. One thing I wish would have been done in this pack is if they made it so that way the uh, cupcake and uh, toy cupcake are, and also like shadow cupcake too, um, is if they were their own ragdolls and stuff like that, or like at least their own props in this pack too. Um, like kind of like how the nightmare cupcake is and the jack-o-lantern and stuff I really like this and stuff being able to have them and like move them around and stuff um, But unfortunately there is like no prop version of the cupcake or prop version of the um, What you may call it of the toy cupcake That would be really cool if we got like a prop pack of this pack in the future where it has like all their like props and stuff like balloon boys balloon and sign uh, A prop of like toy Bonnie's guitar and Bonnie's guitar Freddy's all the different types of microphones and uh all the all the good stuff like that and stuff like that yeah i i, I can't speak right i i'm tired guys i'm freaking tired <laughs> i want to go to bed um anyways so yeah that's pretty much it for uh, jacko chica now we're going on to nightmare foxy oh no y'all ha ha where be the sexy babies where, wait hold up where be all the sexy women? Yar har har. Yar, I'm getting hard over here if yar, you know what I mean. Yar har har. Yeah, you're cursed, Nightmare Foxy, we know. So, with Nightmare Foxy, if you guys remember in the FNAF 4 teaser when Nightmare Foxy was first shown off, he had a tongue, which you can give him his tongue right here, but as you can see, kind of clips through his jaw, so you're gonna have to move that with the advanced bone tool. Um, but you can give him his tongue if you want. Yar har har. A tongue to lick certain air. Okay, no, 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 Foxy. No, 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 no. Um, so, uh, yeah, so there you go. We got the tongue and and uh, basically can take off a suit. You guys also change the skin again with the eyes. So boom, bada bing, bada boom. And that's pretty much it for, for Nightmare Foxy. Yar, where be the sexy women at? Yar, I wanna fuck. Next up we have his plush trap. Look at plush trap, he looks so cute. I gotta say, I love this plush trap model. I love how plush trap looks in this. Um, Cause normally in my role play videos, I've been using the, uh, the special delivery version of plush trap, but I definitely do think I am gonna start using this one from now on. Cause he looks nice and beautiful and wholesome. So uh, yeah, if you can't tell, I really do love these ragdolls. These ragdolls are amazing. And some of the best ragdoll and no these are like the best fnaf ragdolls i have ever seen on the fnaf workshop so this is definitely an add-on and, and the oh my gosh i'm so tired this is definitely an add-on worth checking out so uh, make sure to check it out link in the description below so anyways we got plush job right here oh my gosh so yeah we can basically take off all the stuff we are going to do that but here's nice little plush job we're just like rawr i'm finger trap yar i'm i mean i'm gonna bite off your fingers i don't know why i did yar i was thinking too much about nightmare foxy yar and i'd be thinking about sexy women Anyways, this is Plush Trap's endoskeleton. I'm scared. This is cursed, bro. Plush Trap's like endoskeleton head has always been so freaking creepy. So yeah, this is what uh, this is what his endoskeleton looks like. I'm uh, 
I'm scared. He's like, haha, you got games on your phone? Look at me, I'm plush trap, aren't I cute? Yay, I got tiny toes. I'm freaking scared, bro. Next up we have is Nightmare Fredbear. So yeah, we have this beautiful, 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 beautiful Fredbear boya. So yeah, this is Nightmare Fredbear. He's gonna come into your room and be like, ooh, I'm gonna bite off your head. Ooh, is that a free frontal lobe for me? Yay, I'm gonna eat it. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna eat your brain. So uh, yeah, here's a... Uh, here is Nightmare Fredbear. So uh, he's a big old spooky boy. Um, and something very unique about Nightmare Fredbear in this pack is if you go over here and you can change his skin, boom, we have Nightmare Grey Bear statue thing. So, uh, or AKA basically teaser Nightmare Fredbear. So when FNAF 4 was being teased um, in the FNAF 4 teaser of Nightmare Fredbear, basically this was shown off right here. Basically just the gray version of Fredbear, but with a purple bow tie. So uh, yeah, that was one of the teasers for FNAF 4. And, uh, but ever since then, um, I I've liked to look at him as Nightmare Graber statue thing. So uh, there you go. Yay! I'm finally getting some love again. Nightmare Graber statue thing go per. Yay! Also, with my Nightmare Graber in my normal universe, he has purple eyes. So if you want to do give him purple eyes like my Nightmare Graber statue thing, uh, you can go over here to Nightmare Bonnie, steal his eyeballs, and then go over here and apply it to Nightmare Fredbear. And boom, he's got those big old purple eyes. So uh, yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful boy. Next up in line is Nightmare. So uh, yeah, so Nightmare is not a skin of Nightmare Fredbear. Nightmare is, is his own model because he has his own unique skins. Um, so yeah, here's Nightmare in his solid form. Um, look at him. He looks all nice and solid. He looks very cartoony. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, he's got he's equipped with his yellow bow tie and his yellow hat. And uh, here is Nightmare. So let's go ahead and have a little look at Nightmare's skin. So you have his normal skin right here where it's texture solid. Then you have skin one where he becomes slightly transparent. And I believe this is how we normally see Nightmare walking around in FNAF 4, you know, where you can kind of like see through him and like see his endoskeleton and stuff like that. Um, so uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's Nightmare's first skin right there. And then you have his second skin where he's a bit more uh, transparent looking like. Um, actually wait, no, he's, he's not really transparent. It's basically, it gives him a bit more texture into him. So he's like in a solid form, but he has more texture and stuff to him. So like he has his normal texture right here. And then you have his like alternate textures right here. Um, so I wonder if this, if this is like how, uh, hmm. All right. So this is actually how nightmare looks like in the twisted ones novel, um, title image. I mean, book cover. Oh my god, I'm so freaking tired right now, bro. I want to go to sleep, but yeah, this is. <laughs> it's, I'm I'm getting so tired. So if I say something wrong, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so freaking tired. It's it's 1:30. I want to sleep. I need to finish this video. Oh my gosh. So uh, yeah, but anyways, for this last skin of Nightmare, basically this is what Nightmare looks like in the cover of the Twisted Ones. As you can see, he's got those like blue pixels and stuff coming off on him and stuff like that so uh yeah that's uh that's basically where uh where this or originates from for his final skin so uh there you go fun fast facts um is it is it bad that i knew about that is is, is that bad that i know that much about fnaf please help me next up we have is knight marion so knight marion is a big old spooky boy um definitely gonna use this boy and uh, all you can do with him is just take off his mask I'm scared. So uh, yeah, here's Nightmare uh, Nightmare on, and yes, all of his fingers are um, wiggly and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, he's a uh, very tentacly. So uh, yeah, there you go. So he's good. He's like wiggle, wiggle. I got my wiggly fingers. So wiggle, wiggle. I'm a wiggly worm. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh my gosh, this dude is bro Nightmare on. You okay? He's like wiggle, 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 wiggle. Um, so yeah, here's uh, here's Nightmare on for you. So uh, boom, he's just a nice spooky night Nightmare puppet boy. Next up, we have his Nightmare Balloon Boy. He's like, hey, you want to help me count my teeth? Um, okay, let's, uh, let's, all right, guys, we're going to count his teeth. Um, okay, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyways, with Nightmare Balloon Boy, he does have some skin. So if you go to skin, oh, what in the world? Okay, that, so yeah, so if you go to skin one, um, oh, we have all these alternate forms. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Okay, so let's start at the top. We have regular Nightmare Balloon Boy. You have regular Nightmare Balloon Boy, then skin one. You have this cursed Nightmare Balloon Boy. I think this is like a version of Nightmare JJ, but then you have this other version of Nightmare JJ where it has like the magenta color in it. And then you have this version where it's Shadow Nightmare Balloon Boy. Why? I, 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 where does Shadow Nightmare Balloon Boy come from? Oh, my brain hurts. So uh, yeah, we have uh, we have this boy. I'm, I'm scared. So yeah, he exists. 
And then you can also, uh, wait, what does this do? Oh, okay, so yeah, this basically adds the cylinder holder. So this adds like these parts right here. And uh, mainly that is mainly featured off in Ultimate Custom Knight right there, but I don't think he had that in FNAF 4, but he does have it in Ultimate Custom Knight. Um, so there you go. You can also take away his map. Oh my gosh, why are the Balloon Boys Endoskeleton so freaking cursed? Um, and for some reason, his, his hat is labeled as hair in this pack, but hey, that's okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and just, uh, oh, snap. So, uh, yeah, this is his endos. Basically, his endoskeleton is just a, um, a bunch of lines. I'm, uh, I'm, oh my gosh, that's his hand. Bro, that's his endoskeleton hand. Oh my gosh, wait, I need to see what this dude looks like with absolutely nothing on. Oh my gosh, bro. Nightmare Balloon Boy, what happened to you, bro? Bro, you look so cursed, my guy. Oh no, please tell me he got regular feet. Oh my, he's only got one toe, bro. Bro, Nightmare Balloon Boy's got one toe. Just, he's got one big one big toe on each foot. That's Nightmare Balloon Boy's endoskeleton. I, if you thought, if you thought freaking Balloon Boy's endoskeleton was cursed, I mean, yeah, that is cursed. Look at freaking Nightmare Balloon Boy's endoskeleton. What is this thing? Actually, I think Balloon Boy's endoskeleton is more cursed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think, yeah, comparing it, yeah, Balloon Boy's endoskeleton is more cursed than that nightmare balloon boys into skeleton um okay then you learn something new every day next up we have is nightmare mangle and just like nightmare foxy you can change or basically like the other nightmares you can make it so like oh it makes it so the eyes don't glow and then oh look solid black but for some reason it doesn't change on the endo head i think you have to do that over oh no you you just you just don't change it which again, I'm sure you can with the advanced bone tools. So uh, yeah, so again, if there's like some like small, tiny little texture or something you don't like with these characters, you can easily fix it up with the sub material tool and rip it off of another character. So uh, problem solved. Um, anyways, with Nightmare Mangle, um, you can also give her the tongue as well. It looks it looks more normal here. Um, did Nightmare Foxy's tongue go out on the side? Oh, it does go out on the side. Oh, okay. I was looking at it from like this angle. It looks made it look like the tongue like clips into the jaw, but it actually doesn't. Okay, so okay, that's actually nice to have. Nice to have and nice to know. Yar ha ha. Now I can go up to those sexy women, all those sexy animatronics, and yar, and I can take my tongue and I can lick their po- Uh, <laughs> anyway, so with Nightmare Mangle, I can do that too. I can also go up to women and lick their- And finally, for our last character for this video, holy frick, this is like the longest review video I've done in so- freaking long please leave a like if you haven't already but anyways guys drum roll please for our final fnaf character of today's video the nightmare endoskeleton yes it's only right that we end this video off with an endo bindo so here's the nightmare endoskeleton but i mean we kind of already saw him because i mean it's basically the same as this dude um frick but if you want Nightmare Endoskeleton as your as his own unique ragdoll, well, he's a part of this pack too. And um, yeah, there you uh, there you go, Nightmare Endoskeleton. Um, again, basic. He has like the same eyes as Nightmare Freddy. Oh well, actually, one thing that is different from Nightmare Freddy is like Nightmare Freddy's eyes like pop out and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's it with like all the FNAF 4 animatronics. Like their eyes pop out of the sockets of the Endoskeleton. But over here with this uh, Endoskeleton right here, the eyes are actually in the socket. So there is actually a good reason why to have this and stuff. And also, you can see the eyes are actually connected to the the skeleton right here whereas with these characters um they are oh well they are but they just pop out further so uh if you want the eyes to not like pop out of the sockets definitely recommend this endoskeleton right here um but anyways with the skin basically the same thing with the eyes you know it's like faded black and stuff like that through my crowbar again i'm pretty sure this changes some textures right here um but uh, yeah there you go that is pretty much it so uh yeah that is that is it for this video I am so freaking tired. But anyways, here's all the ragdolls right here. And this is what they all look like in the spawn menu. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of freaking characters in this pack. So if you want to check out this pack, I highly recommend it. It will be linked in the description below. Again, let me know in the comments uh, if you guys want me to start using these accurate characters in my GMod FNAF AU role plays, um, or if I should not and stick with the team VR versions um, or slash the versions I normally use for my role plays and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested, interested to see what you guys um, suggest and stuff like that. Or you guys could go through all the or actually also something else i want you guys to tell me in the comments is what is your favorite era of fnaf in this pack uh do you guys like the fnaf 1 the best do you guys like the fnaf 2 section the best do you guys like the fnaf 3 section the best or do you like the fnaf 4 section the best so let me know in the comments down below so uh yeah anyways hope you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like please leave a like i've been here for like way too long i've been here for like two three hours yeah because i also had to take forever setting up all these characters too this took freaking forever um but uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and there you go i hope you hope you learned something new hope you learned your new freddy faz fact so hope you walked away knowing something new about one of these animatronics so uh yeah anyways that's it for this video i'm going to sleep okay good night <laughs>
leave a like and subscribe. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>